So today we'll see how to develop our first basic application or app in Android Studio. For that you have to start this Android Studio. You can install this Android Studio uh, online and from their website. And uh, you have to also install SDK or you, you can have uh, files of SDK somewhere placed and you have to also install JDK. So this Android Studio will work along with your JDK and this Java Development Kit and SDK of Android that is Android Software Development Kit. And um, if you have not installed it, this means you have not placed SDK, you can go to this configure, then project defaults and project structure. So what I was talking about that it will require two important things. Any Android application on Android Studio would require that you have to have an Android SDK location, which I placed here after installing. And this is the JDK path which I have given right so verifying this these are uh, all the projects which i have made so this is the listing of the project and you can start a new android studio project that is a blank or clean project and you can also open an existing android studio project means the studio project which you have already made you can open that and also you can import Eclipse and other versions like you know various options are there you can you can make an application Android application in Eclipse you can make an made application in NetBeans so various other options are also available so you can also impair so let us start with uh, a new Android studio project and this application name you can give an application name with space no problem but you cannot start with a small character means alphabet has to be in the uppercase if i just uh, do this it will, it will show me the application name for most apps begin with the uppercase so let me start that my first say app okay and uh, this is the path which i have given to the project location you can change it as per your convenience okay you can go to somewhere on the where you, the place where you want to store this project and this is the company domain it will automatically take it from your system just hit next now these these are various uh, options this has to be there otherwise this android will you know by itself this android studio will by itself update it and it has to be there to actually go or or reach to your application i have this minimum sdk is actually installed so it, it actually got android 4.03 ice cream sandwich from here i just have to press next these are various options if you want a login activity you could go to this point if you are making a Google map, you can go to this point. So we will make a simple program. So let's take an empty activity. Say next. Now this is very important. This activity name is main activity. Activity main is the layout name. What is this? If you are aware of C, C++, Java and other programming languages, there is a main function from where actually the program enters or from where the program actually starts. So this is the main activity and this is the main of your Android. Say finish, all our work is done. I'll, I will leave this name as it is. Let me hit finish. Press finish. Now you see that there are various things which are going on. Don't worry about that. It will take some time because what you are doing is you are actually making an app for some device. I have connected my this Samsung mobile via USB system. Keep trying like that. But before that, let's go to the pro first program is important. So this is these are the listing of various files. These are the various listing. But there are two files which are of prime importance. First, what is this main activity? As I suggested, that this is the main of your Android, and this is the basic uh, structure of the program of main activity. This is actually .java. See, this is .java. And in the resource, if you just 
So once this program opens, you have two files, activity main and main, main activity.java. So these are the two important files you will be working upon. Various methods and greater scripts also, but will be upon activity main.xml and main activity.java. So as you might have understood up till now that activity main.xml will actually show your output or actually place your output or the layout of the machine on the machine which you are going to want uh, to work upon and then this main activity dot java will be your programming on the back side so this is your front end and this is your back end as you as you can think of so activity dot main first you see there is hello dot java hello dot uh, world this is hello world text is there my first app whatever name you will provide this will come like this this hello world is there so let me go to the text what is inside this activity main.xml i'll go to the text this is a design tab this is a text tab text tab will have very simplistic entries only one text view was there this hello world was there so only first one text was entry and i'll show you if i delete this from the coding means xml file this will be gone See, you will not see hello world here. So what we will do is we will add some text box say two text box and a button and on this text button we will enter or we will take the values from the user and we will print out the value if a button is hit means the addition value will be uh, printed or shown to the app and all this we will do in runtime on my mobile. So let us start with this uh, activity main text. So let me add few values here. Now this is very plain. I have certain entry. I've already made the program. So this already you have. See this already you have. Let me add a text. Okay, you are not very good with or you don't want to do this programming. So there is an option. You go to design. Okay, you go to design and you see that there are various in this palette various options available you can just press it and drag it on your system see this has come so this is also an option because we are actually trying to program so that is uh, how the way i have taken is actually through the files on which we are going to work so there are these both are going to show you the same result so let me add an edit box so i have an edit box see this is an edit box I will just copy and paste. This copy pasting is equivalent to actually taking a value or taking a taking a control from this particular layout to the screen. So now you can see that an edit box has come already. This edit box was actually uh, showing this edit. We have placed edit text means this will be the variable by which this edit box edit text will be known. These are all various options. This is easily, easily understandable. Uh, As I want another text box to take my second value, I will copy the other one, which, will, which is having the variable as edit text or known by edit text 2. And I will copy this edit text and paste it just below, just below the previous one. Now here is a change. These two are not similar. They are exactly same up till this point. But see here we have align left and align below, layout below. That means I want this edit text to be the to be below this text. That is why apart from all all these basic things which are there in the previous edit text, this edit text has also align left and below option, right? And the rest are same. One more thing is re request focus. Once you are going to enter values in your actual Android app, you are going to enter a value. Now what you want a focus here because you want that the value second has to be uh, given from this edit box. For that you need the focus. For that you have done the focus activity. Right? Hope you understood this. Now let us go to our button because we want two edit box to edit and then a button. So let's go to the button. But it is quite simple. I would have taken it from uh, this layout, but uh, I want it 
to be as a uh, in a view of a programmer because if you are going to program you have to see what is actually going in programming so now this button will be known by button 1 this will be the name of the button 1 and all those things and uh, these various uh, default options and what you exactly want on your button the name of the button so let's go to the design see this has come this is add I'll show you just a glimpse how you can change it this is add now let me add number here and press enter see this add number has come I want to change some you know other values you can just change from here it is quite simple okay these are various properties which are uh, available and uh, just let us take some color okay just take a color and you'll see that there are some rendering problem it just this rendering problems are because you don't have that particular thing inside your Android projects so just go to these uh, various options and update it as per your requirement and uh, foreground okay I hope you are you are going to uh, see all these and work upon it and we'll concentrate on two values and add number so let's go to main activity dot Java this is our, our our Java program this is our main this is our programming so a basic program has got all these contents and I wish I would like to add a more uh, one more content so how to do it I will go to main activity dot Java which I have already made see this was there and this is here so whichever program you made by whatever name let let it be like that and below that you have two lines which has come up I will add few more lines I will add few more lines you have to add all these because we'll be using this OS dot bundle was already there so I have to delete it there is no point in keeping to similar import Java guys may be knowing what is going on there is a package there is importing so I want a toolbar I will have a toolbar view menu activity OS bundle again there so I will delete it okay. then button edit, uh, edit text and this toast so all will be will will be using it now let's come to actual program that is main activity so what we are going to do is we are going we have actually two edit box so we'll make some variables out of it and a button so we'll make a variable so we'll make some private variable and just below this line i will paste them first line i'll paste them so i have edit box 81 82 this this will be the the variables of edit text and we will take it from edit text 1 which is known as which is known in the in this text this is edit text 1 and edit text 2 so this is also done and now on create we have these things available here but one line we need to we need to add what is that this is add listen uh, listener on button because I want that whenever I press on the button the system should listen so I will add this line and you see that this will this will come in red okay the system is actually Intelli will give you error why because this function you have made but you have not given a definition of this function for that we'll go to this definition so this is the function this is the definition of the function what we have done we have taken from a text one point view by id this was the id this was id variable this was actual variable so this uh, id variable we have taken et1 the value from first the user will give the value and we'll take it et1 the user will give second value we'll take it to et2 and user will press button we'll take to buttons up. okay we are going to add this just now in because we are going to make a make a function so let 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 us copy the whole function so let me uh, introduce you to other things that we have already uh, added this listener and I want that uh, we want that the listener should be on on which which control it should be on the button so button sum dot set on click uh, listener what will happen a new click listener will open and inside this will have a on click 
you know whatever programming you are going to do in Java that will be inside this okay so what 81 will have whichever value 81 will be getting from the user entry will take and take change it to the string similar with the second value and will parse them into the integer from this value 1 so actual value will be a the second value will be b will take a sum add a plus b and will show it on a toast toast means it will, it will be shown on the screen only for few few uh, moments few seconds and uh, if you want it uh, to be shown as um, uh, on a text box or a button that you can very well do by just adding one more edit text so hope you got the idea let me copy this we copy this and just paste it here errors but we'll just compile and run the program and I'll, we'll see for the error now when we are ready with this design we are ready with the main activity okay so let's uh, run the program now through this button or you can use shift f10 so what is happening this will take some time actually it is making an apk file dot apk file and this apk file will be actually shown on my mobile so what there are various options that you can have directly you can place this built apk you can directly place this apk file on a mobile and after that you can really use your mobile with this app which is installed there already so as app in the form of this uh, app these two values addition is going to my mobile and it will be shown on my mobile it will be shown my one mobile so let me uh, show you that i have to just make it we have i have already made it so it is taking short time okay now just uh, go to the camera now you see this this has come if you are able to see this is where you give the first value this is where you give the second value and then you add i'll try to show you this one again let me run it let me run it and when it comes on this uh, mobile that these things are going on see various things are going on and once this apk is formed this apk file is formed it will be shown on my samsung mobile so this is actually uh, in is not an emulator it is actually your mobile on which your first application will be installed and will be running see i have no changes because i have already run it so it is just showing that there is no change and uh, we have already uh, made it work so this is how this is happening here and once this is already installed how i can go to this on my uh, various apps i can go to this my first app and see this is there so let us add two values say, say two say three and it will be five so this is the toast this is the five you might be viewing it uh, upside down but uh, this is just for demonstration purpose so hope you got the idea how you can make a basic program in android thank you so much take care of yourself